Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. So today I wanted to talk about uh, this topic about the top investment writers. So I've been reading about stocks and investments for about the last 5 plus years. And over that time I've come to appreciate the writings and articles of certain authors more than others. So I want to share those authors with you in this video. So I have a very simple criteria. Basically, the author should have a uh, skin in the game and a trackable portfolio so that he is accountable. Uh, should have had good returns over a period of time. So, I mean, ultimately it comes down to how well you beat the market. Should be consistent, analytical and intelligent. I'm looking for someone who is, uh, you know, analyzing stocks, not just depending on luck and has a consistent methodology to outperforming and beating the market. So let's get into it. So the first writer I want to introduce you to is this writer called Integrator and he is on this website Seeking Alpha and I think he is really the gold standard in terms of investment writers. Uh, he writes a lot, uh, especially recently he started writing much more and you can see some of his articles here and I suggest you definitely check out those articles. More importantly, uh, he is the inspiration behind my own Project 1 Million. And he started his Project Million, I think, uh, about two or three years ago. And he's been doing very well so far. And let's look at some of the stocks he holds in his portfolio. So you can see he has a very transparent portfolio. Uh, his portfolio is quite large. It has grown from about 275,000. Uh, now to about 518,000 and you can see all the stocks he owns and I own some of these stocks I own MasterCard, I own Visa, I own Amazon, I own Facebook I don't own Mercado Libre, I don't own CSL, I don't own Alessian, I don't own ProMedicisk I don't, uh, I do own Alphabet but I don't own Tencent uh, I don't own Nanasonics, I own Alibaba I don't own Salesforce yet I don't own the Vanguard FTSE Emerging Market. I don't own Baidu and I don't own C Trip. But you can see a lot of similarities in our portfolios. And I think we both concentrate on very high growth and high quality companies with long runways. And I think that is really the best way to beat the market. As long as you invest in high quality companies with long runways, you can rest assured that these companies will continue to outperform. And so when I say high quality, what I mean is actually a very strong mode. And you can see a lot of these companies have very strong modes and their modes are growing every day. And that's what really pushes up the valuation of these great companies. And so speaking about modes, let's talk about the next author. And the next author is Brian Stoffel from The Motley Fool. And recently I've had the chance to actually correspond with him through email. And we might even get a chance to hear him speak on this channel one day. Um, so I think this headline really speaks volumes. And it can tell you why I'm such a big fan of him as well. So he beat the market. He tripled it over the past decade. And you can see that he is quite a prolific writer as well. Um, you can see that while the S&P 500 has returned about 10% per year based on what, on when he's invested, his portfolio returned 23% per year over the same time frame. And that is an amazing uh, return. Uh, I think he also focuses a lot on companies with very strong modes. He can also look at some of the other uh, methodologies he uses in choosing his companies. And of course, like I said, you must follow an author that has skin in the game as a trackable portfolio and he has plenty of that here. You can see here on his profile page that he tracks his stocks as well and he lists his top 10 holdings. And you can see he owns Amazon, he owns Google, he owns Facebook, he owns Exxon Enterprises, he owns Shopify, he owns uh, Mercado Libre as well, he owns Twitter, Booking, Intuitive Surgical and Viva Systems. So I definitely like some of these stocks. In fact, his top three stocks are the top three stocks in my Project 1 Million portfolio as well. And I'm definitely keeping an eye out on some of the other stocks as well. I, I own uh, Booking and I own Intuitive as well. 
I'm keeping an eye out for Viva Systems. And I would like to buy Shopify, but I just find it too expensive for me at the moment. But uh, I'm definitely keeping an eye on some of the other stocks he researches, and I enjoy reading his articles. So while we're on the Motley Fool, let's talk about another author I like reading. Uh, and he is Matthew Cochrane from the Motley Fool as well. And I think Matthew has a specialty in the fintech industry and you can see that he tends to write a lot about uh, fintech companies and finance companies so he writes a lot about visa and you can see that he also writes a lot about other fintech companies like paypal and mastercard and so like i said he also has a trackable portfolio and he definitely has skin in the games you can see his top holdings here on his profile page as well and amazon is a top holding for him as well he also owns mastercard he owns PayPal, Facebook, Google, Skyworks, Solutions, Disney, Microsoft, Square, Home Depot, Shopify, Paycom, Hasbro, Global Payment Networks, and these other stocks that you see right here. So we definitely have some similarities in our portfolios as well. I like some of his top holdings. Uh, I'll definitely look into some of the other holdings he has as well. And like I mentioned, a lot of these authors have very good ideas and so it's a good way to learn about new stocks and get new ideas for yourself as well so another author i follow and who you can also read to get ideas from is called is this writer called the science of hitting on gurufocus.com and i love this quote on his profile page ted williams described in his book the science of hitting that the most important thing is to wait for the right page and that's exactly the philosophy I have about investing by Warren Buffett. Who else but the great Warren Buffett? And he also has a lot of skin in the game and he has a trackable portfolio. And if you look at this article where he did a year-end portfolio review about 2018, you can read more about the stocks he owns. Now, he's probably the author I disagree most in terms of the stock holdings. He owns 21st Century Fox, Berkshire Hathaway, Wells Fargo, um, Microsoft, Comcast, uh, among others. And I wouldn't own the first three stocks, I think. Um, not because I don't uh, think they're good businesses, but because I don't think they will be the kind of businesses that will give me the growth and the price appreciation that I'm looking for. Uh, but it's good to keep an open mind. I think he generally writes well in terms of uh, investing in general. He also seems to be more of a value-focused investor and that may not be a bad thing, especially if markets hit a uh, very high valuation. And But I think he is also moving towards a focus on higher quality companies. And there are a lot of articles you can see and he's quite a prolific writer as well. And so I suggest you read some of the articles he has on his profile page and you can see a lot of these articles about different companies and recently i came across this cup this article where he talks about you know the focus on quality and overpaying a little for quality may not be such a bad thing and i definitely agree with him there so that brings a wrap to this video i hope you enjoyed learning about these authors uh, if you have other authors that you think are also worth uh, talking about, drop them in the comments. I'll definitely be interested. And maybe I'll do a sequel to this video if I find the other authors who are as good as the authors that I've mentioned in this video. So please like this video. Please comment. Please share. Please subscribe if you haven't. And have a great day.